Like that old day shit is over because it's an old business model. What we have to do now is prepare the kids on how to win now, not then. Then was a whole nother day. There was no internet back then. There right. was no there was no there was no YouTube. There was no there was no there was no direct to consumer relationship. There, there was no there was no IG. There was no Twitter. There was no TikTok. The world is a completely different landscape. And if you're not prepared on how to do that, that's why it's important for me to have my daughter next to me so I can know what everyone's doing younger. You know, you as an entrepreneur, you have to know when something's old and you have to de-invest and reinvest in something else. So let's talk about that. Because you, you're you known for saying, I spend my money. I flip it. A million right. come in, a million gonna go out. Right out. Has that... Obviously, it's been working for you for years. You're sitting in the studio. How big is that studio? 6,000 square feet. You got 6,000 square feet in Burbank, California. Yeah. Building your TV station that you've been talking about. It's built. It's out. It's already there. The next meeting after that is, is a network meeting after this one. Do you, think, do you think you're misunderstood? And the reason that I ask you this is for a couple of reasons. Number one, people can look at you as arrogant. They can look at you as egotistical. And Slaves. also, you seem to be ahead of the curve. Slaves. Hold on, you seem to be ahead of the curve. When people are talking about music, you're going into fashion. When people are talking about fashion, you're going into film. When people are talking about film, you're going and you're producing. Is, 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 do you think with your strong personality, are you just misunderstood? Who cares? Get the fuck. A slave's never gonna understand a general. You understand what I'm saying? Anyone that thinks anything I'm doing is bad is because they're not doing it and they're too scared to do it. I don't give a fuck what they think. It just learn. Watch TV. You'll see what I'm doing. You think, I don't care. Whoever missed, it doesn't matter. The, the problem is people care too much about what other people think. I give no fucks. I really don't. Okay, so let's make a lesson Why would I care? out of that. Let's make a lesson out of that because I think that's important. A lot of people don't even get their businesses off the ground because they're too busy worried about what other people think. Is this a hot idea? Am I strong enough to get this business off the ground? How long have you been like that? Has that been something that's been with you your whole life? You just never cared what the next man thought? My whole life. Since my principal was telling me to stop selling drugs because my car was better than I'm like, yo, I'm, <laughs> old, I'm younger than you and my car is better than you. I make more money than you. Why would I listen to you? You know what I mean? So I, everything I ever did, people said I was crazy. But these are people who I think they're crazy for being complacent, for accepting that life. And I felt that when I was young. You know, I'm first generation. Nobody gave me nothing. As, as you said, I fought for everything. So all I know is if you fight for what you believe in, you will get what you want fearlessly. And the reason why you have no fear is because you know you're right. When you know you're right, you have no fear. Got you. Yeah, you definitely have been fearless from, from way back when, the day I first met you. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.